So you can basically ratchet something yep. tight. Now the canopy that you just made with just piping and hardware. Yep. Hiker Jay here. This week I'm revisiting an old video of mine. It's the cargo trailer conversion into a camper. But this now is a system that's a toy hauler as well. My brother has redone a rowboat and he's set up a system where he can actually pull the whole trailer, boat and trailer and everything into the cargo trailer and take it along camping. If you didn't watch the original video, you should definitely check it out. Links up here on the right. Um, it's basically this cargo trailer that he converted into a camper. And what's awesome is that it's totally modular. He's able to set it up like this, put it all away and use the trailer at, for work because he's a builder during the week. So he can put lumber and all those types of things in here. And then on the weekend, take all that out and this turn converts right into a camper. Check that video out, it's pretty awesome. But what we're gonna talk about today is how he's converted it now into a toy hauler. He could put his uh, golf cart in here and take it in the past and everything. But what he's done is he's re redone a complete robo, which is pretty sweet, I'm gonna show you that and he's uh, got it so that the trailer's short enough that it'll actually fit inside this trailer. So we're gonna show you how all that works. So let's go over here. Hey Greg, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? So this is the rowboat that he got and when you got this, it was pretty beat up. Yeah, it, was, uh, it wasn't this color at all. It was camouflage. There was no top rails, they were gone and it was just really bowed and everything. So I, I had the, the maple laying around so I cut that up in quarter inch strips and had to veneer that onto this with the epoxy and I could and then put in uh, these uh, these wood things that come out they can come out and clean the boat and that's so your feet don't get wet when you're sitting in here if you're in and out swimming and then uh, I, I, I did the seats redid those sand those down stain those and polyed those too as well put all new hardware and everything in for yes. your cover, yep, and cover and oars and, oars. and everything yes exactly yep and then uh, I redid the back the back was all shot redid that and then uh, made a top to put up if okay, when it's really sunny out so the sun doesn't beat yeah let's show you the canopy let's do that That's cool. Get that window up there, Got it. It's loosen it all the windows? Yes. All right. Put these here. Then go up, right? Oh, yeah, we got to bring it up. Ball right here? Yep, that's good. Tighten it up. Man, I love these little uh, I go these little gear. What are these? What are these? So you can basically ratchet something yep. tight, or you can pinch it here and it goes bigger. That's pretty awesome. What? Where'd you get this? I think it was Lowe's. Lowe's. Improving. So you can just pick this at a hardware store. Yep. Awesome. That is sweet. So there we go. And so that's now the canopy that you just made with just piping and hardware. Yep, yep. piping and uh, tarp. I sold the tarp up. I, eventually I'll get a new good one on there, but I just want to see how Right, you want to do a, a template. Yep. So this is a sweet little DIY. I might actually cover this in a little bit more depth, but uh, one thing I hate when I go on a rowboat and you know you go canoeing or uh, fishing out the rowboat is that you just bake. But this is a great idea. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is really cool. And it's really easy and simple. Yep. I like it. He even made the little sleeve right here that like entombs the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's so when you're when it's going down the highway uh, behind the vehicle, it's not flapping everywhere. Where'd you so. get this idea? Uh, I just I looked up uh, beanie beanie tops, I think it is, for boats. Okay. Yeah, but they were outrageously expensive for this boat, so. Okay, so you I just, just decided, made it. Yeah, I made it myself. Like, yeah, how much do you have into this thing? In the top itself, only about I'd say about ten bucks, fifteen bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Cool. So, yeah. All right, let's take it down. All right. Yeah, this is awesome, man. That's a, such a clever idea. There you go. There's that. All right, so let's uh, let's put this baby in the trailer. Let's put All the right. trailer in the trailer. Trailer. All right. First, we gotta take the motor off. Okay. Because it just barely fits in the whole trailer from the front to the back. So we'll take the trolling motor off and set that aside. We still gotta get something so it doesn't ruin, the, ruin that there. You know? And then you just dolly it. Yep, this we'll old dolly right it. here is like from when I was a kid. We mm -hmm. we've had this thing forever. The motor is too. Yeah. Classic man. So now he's got the motor off, the ramp set, and he's gonna show us now the wench system that he rigged up so that it'll just pull it right up inside the trailer. Go ahead, Greg. This is just a uh, Harbor Freight uh, wench. It's an ATV wench. 
This unit normally goes um, in your on, on your ATV, but I I zip tied it to the motor itself because I need this for the the uh, remote control unit. But I want it to be self-contained, so I can just take this and hook it anywhere on anything. And I'll go over this in a minute, and then I can just use it to pull up stuff in my trailers and everything else. My golf cart has one on it too. Problem I've been I've had is trying to get something so it, it hooks and disconnects. It's very difficult to find anything. It's very expensive to find something like that. So I've resorted to using old extension cords. I cut them and then I wire them in. And then that's also wired into my battery in the front of my trailer. So I just plug this in, but that way I can just hook this up to any trailer. If I put on another trailer, I'll have another end that just goes to like a jump box. And I can use that as power to wench anything anywhere else. I put, and I mounted this on a piece of composite decking and then put another piece under here just to support this. And then this also is a bracket that I made to put a hook, a hook on so I can, it's attached to this so I can pull, pull stuff up. And then this just goes, this is just a strap that goes around the tongue of the trailer and then onto this, but this just goes right up front. And uses a D-ring to hook into my, 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 uh, my D-ring up front here that I mounted to the trailer that I, I strap stuff in on. And then we just hook this up here and then it's good to go. So while he's lining out the wench, I do have to say something about this Porta John because it got the most comments in the last video. Is that this is really just an emergency? People were like, "Oh, Porta John next to the kitchen, that's nasty." They really just use actually like campground bathrooms and things. This is really just for a nighttime emergency, so it's not like a regular toilet used all the time. But yeah, gross next to the kitchen. But hey, man, you could actually like cook food, take some in, and actually move some out all at once. That's pretty awesome. So, all right, here we go. I could just pull this up the ramp, but I'm 49 years old, getting to be 50, and I've learned to use machines to help me instead of hurt my back. So that just tucks right into the underneath there. Did yep. you plan it out that way? Yeah, I was hoping it would. I didn't know for sure. Didn't know if I had to shorten this up a little bit to get it to work, but it did. So I'm glad. And those ramps you just kind of tuck underneath the trailer when you're camping? Yes, yeah. you have to take them out and tuck them underneath the trailer. Okay. Yep. Now, Moment of truth right here. Now I, I, I got to get some uh, straps they go to here to strap the trailer down so it's not bouncing around and one on that side and there's one up front but uh, I gotta do that yet but I'm gonna show you how it closes in see how close it is oh uh, yeah oh room to spare room to spare that's a trailer in a trailer <laughs> so it does fit and it's secure and the door is shut. Uh, I would like to see what you think about this. Uh, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about. Would you put a boat in a trailer like this? I think it's a great way to be able to take all your things camping. Once you get to base camp, set up your trailer, pull your boat out. Now you can take it to the dock and do all those types of things. Also, what do you think of that canopy? And, and, and also the wench system. Do you think the wench system is really worth it? Some people might not because they say they can just muscle it up, mm -hmm. but why hurt yourself when you got a machine that can do yep. the, the job for you? So, mm -hmm. any other thoughts, Greg? Uh, I just say that uh, uh, if, you, uh, if you're thinking about doing this, I would definitely see what kind of boat you have and what kind of boat you want to get, what size it is, and do the measurements, and then go look for a trailer according to what that would work for you. Like, you can get a 16-footer or you can get a 22-footer, depending on your vehicle, too, and everything. So that's what I would suggest. You do have to kind of match them up. Yeah, you got to match them up. You kind of got lucky because you just found an old boat yes. and redid it. Yep. You know, on that style yeah. too. And what do you think about his boat? I think he did an amazing job on all the woodwork and everything, bringing it back and making it look really nice. Uh, pretty fun. Actually, just getting on the lake with something like this that you've put your own time into, it's yeah. got to be pretty satisfying. It is nice, and you get a lot of looks. A lot of people turn heads. Yeah. Well, that's a nice boat, you know. Even though they got it's the, a little rowboat, they yeah. got the big big boats and you know speed boats, and you're in a little rowboat with a five horse on the back of it. They still appreciate it. Yeah. Well, if you would, hit like and subscribe. That'd be awesome. I put out new videos on outdoor gear every Thursday. Love you to have. Check it out.
Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy. With a trailer, with a boat trailer, in a cargo trailer that turns into a camper. Till next time, take care. Let's go camping and fishing. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, if you hit subscribe, that'd be awesome. I put out new videos every Thursday around outdoor gear. And if you'd like to support me, you can check out my merchandise. I have my Hike Happy shirt on here uh, at my store. You can click that down below and check out the other apparel that I have. Till next Thursday, just go ahead and watch some of my other videos.